Assalamualaikum. Today I want to share about one interesting topic in fish reproductive physiology. The lecturer by Dr. Siti Ariza Arifin. My name is Muhammad Azri bin Muhammad. I am a Master of Science Aquaculture student in University of Malaysia Terengganu, also popularly known as Cikgu Aqua Ishaw. So today, I would like to present regarding extrinsic factor diet induced sexual maturation in fish. Uh, the journal by Frigidal et al. 2012, vaccination and elevated dietary phosphorus reduce the incidence of early sexual maturation in anthletic salmon, salmon sala L. So this is the list of my, the content of my presentation. So, I would like to go to the introduction. Early sexual maturation in the Atlantic salmon farming. Early unwanted sexual maturation that can, that can compromise health, disturbing the maintaining physiological homeostasis and also led uh, aggressive behavior in the Atlantic salmon. Phosphorus is the essential nutrient that have a metabolic rule uh, that can uh, constitute of the bone, scale, ATP, cell membrane, and nucleic acid. Low level of phosphorus can increase the whole body lipid, which increase the incidence of unwanted early sexual maturation in entity salmon. Vaccine in salmon farming will grow to the present size that reduce the use the use amount of antibiotic use and also improve survival rate during on growth in the seawater and the, the the dietary phosphorus level plus vaccination has never been studied that's the issue okay the aim of the study is to examine the combined effect vaccination plus phosphorus nutrition on the occurrence of skeletal deformities at the jaw, upper column, and vertebral column, and the incidence of early unwanted sexual maturation, four months, fourteen months in seawater, uh, for the Atlantic salmon. Okay, in the study, six six thousand Atlantic salmon were used, uh, which thirty thousand, three thousand Atlantic salmon were vaccine by intraperitoneal uh, with 0.1 milliliter multivalent all adjuvant vaccine by Novax Compact 6 and another 3000 were remain unvaccine so to to different between the vaccine the unvaccine fish uh, adipose adipose feed were removed and after vaccine all the fish were transferred into 12 uh, 1.5 times 1.5 meter tanks and will capture about six weeks and then transfer in the six uh, sea cages constitute of 500 vaccine fish and 500 unvaccine fish per cages and then uh, were fed three months using the 0 0.6 and 0 0.9 phosphorus diet uh, content of six gram and nine gram per one kilo dry feed and then for a uh, Another 11 months were fed with the common commercial diet and the total of the experiment were 14 months. Okay, the body weight and the fork length were measured and also the vertebra deformities were also examined and the vertebrae and picolus centra were also analyzed and the data were also analyzed using the Satika version 9. The result significantly mentioned that both vaccination and 0 0.5 phosphorus diet significantly reduce the incidence of unwanted sexual maturation in athletic salmon, which means that the vaccine significantly reduce incidence of mature female. Meanwhile, 0 0.9 diet significantly reduce the incidence of mature male. So the fish fed with the 0 0.6 uh, phosphorus diet significantly lower mechanical stiffness on the vertebral, vertebral bodies than the fish fed 0.9 phosphorus diet. Also, in the result mentioned, no effect vaccination on the stiffness and no dietary or vaccination effect 
on the occurrence of externally, externally detectable skeletal deformities. And for discussion, it's also mentioned that insufficient dietary phosphorus can increase the risk of vertebral, vertebral deformities and downgrade athletic summer during the harvest time. And newly seawater under yearly smoke should be fed at least with 0.6 uh, phosphorus diet and unvaccinated and unvaccinated fish were bigger than vaccine fish regarding to the grow retarding effect of vaccination and also there are more side effects of the interperitoneal vaccine that reduce harvest weight and also abdominal lesion and last for the conclusion it has been significantly says that both vaccination and extra dietary phosphorus reduce the incidence of early unwanted sexual maturation in Atlantic salmon. And also the results show early seawater diet for the Atlantic salmon must be sufficient in phosphorus, at least 0 0.6 phosphorus diet to prevent unwanted sexual maturation during on growth in, sea, in the seawater. This is the journal that I use. Okay, thank you. That's all. Until we meet again. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Peace, yo.